Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, generally between 3 and 4. This is a family friendly channel. And please subscribe to my channel. Remember my promo, $25 will go to a random subscriber who comments, so I can see you, when I reach 250 subscribers. I'm more than halfway there, so you know when the time comes, I will let whoever wins know that they won. But like I said, you have to, you have to comment because if you subscribe but you don't comment, I may not be able to see you. You know, certain accounts that are private, I cannot see. So, just want to let you know that. Okay, so, today is Monday, which is my Mets video. I always do a Mets uh, video review. Um, don't have my Mets shirt on because I had a, um, an online interview, so I couldn't wear a Mets shirt on my interview because, who knows, there could have been a Yankees fan and then I would not get the job. <laughs> anyway, so let's just review how the past week has gone for the Mets and I would have to say that I was very optimistic this week on the Mets okay the only negative thing that happened this week is that DeGrom is still having a problem okay he pitched yesterday he got through five innings but he still has a problem we need DeGrom okay I mean how the Mets have been getting getting by with second stringers and with having openers and stuff like that because they have no starters. I don't know, but whatever they're doing is working. I mean, their second string, Pilar, Villar, all these people are actually stepping it up. So, you know, it, it remains to be seen whether they can keep this momentum or not. Remember, they won five games in a row, and they stand alone in first place. So only time will tell. So, um... Diaz is getting there, okay? He did well yesterday. He did a five-out save, which surprised a lot of people. Um, he's still, I'm sorry, he's still iffy. He's either really, really hot or really not. So we have to wait to see, okay? Strowman is pitching well. Peterson is pitching so-so. Walker is really pitching well, okay, but, you know, the problem is that they don't have five starters. They have DeGrom, who's having a little bit of a problem. They have Stroman, okay, they have Walker, and they have Peterson. They're missing a fifth starter, okay. I heard that, uh... Thor should be coming back this month, and I also heard that uh, Seth Lugo should be coming back this month, which is a good thing. And speaking of the bullpen, I'm really shocked that the bullpen has actually been our strongest point in the last week or two. They have been phenomenal. I mean, yes, uh, the bullpen did give up a few runs the other day, but on, on the overall, they've been lights out. So that's one thing that we didn't have last year. We, we had one of the worst bullpens in history last year. This year, our bullpen is good. Our starters remain the problem. I think once Carrasco comes back and Thor comes back, then we will have five good starters. I think once the starters are better, I think once the starters are better, we'll start doing a lot better because a lot of the games that they lose were because of the pitchers giving up too many runs. And lately, they've been hitting more. I don't know if it's because they changed the hitting coaches or not, but whatever they did worked. Again, this is the Mets report for May 10th, it is, the day after Mother's Day. 
Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, like I said, there is nothing special today. There's not a lot of big news. There's minor news, uh, but that's that's about it. Okay. If you want to end this with a little um, a little video, let's just show a little video of of lights out the ground. The Grom had six Ks in the, and he exited the game. Okay. So I'm not going to show the whole thing because it's going to take too long. I don't want to, you know, incur the wrath of YouTube, so to speak. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so you will know my videos come out. And please subscribe to my channel. Remember my promo. One random subscriber is going to receive $25 when I reach 250 subscribers, but you must comment. And please keep the comments coming because they're giving me ideas. Now tomorrow will be a health and wellness video. Um, I did one last week about allergies. I think I'm going to be doing one tomorrow similar to the allergies, but not exactly the allergies. Uh, you know, my, my hope here is to help people better their lives and to help people save money. You know, if I could do both of those things, then it makes me happy. And if you want to, you know, show your appreciation for what I'm doing, just subscribe to my channel. That's all it takes is one little click. That's it. I thank you. Stay safe. Go get your vaccine so we can get back to normal soon. And I will see you tomorrow. And let me say, let's go Mets. They're in first place and hopefully they will stay that way.